Hello, everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today, we have an NA Sunday night fight for you. It should be two good rounds. The first one here is Roulette Lane. You're seeing an overview of that, followed up by our second map, which is the Rocky Slopes in Conquest, I believe, but I don't 100% remember. Thank you to our Patreon members for the support. If you'd like to support, go to the link in the description where you can get a live stream of all the broadcasts we do. You can advertise your regiment on the bottom of our videos and get raw gameplay footage of everything we cover with no commentary and UI. Besides that, our teams for today on the CSA side, we have i Corps, a and V and two core, and then on the Union side we have the Fifth New Hampshire Pennsylvania Army Irish Volunteer Brigade and the Sussy Brigade. Server size today is roughly 170 right now. Numbers are actually perfectly balanced, and if we're looking at artillery, Union having four, and the Confederates don't have artillery, so they can't take any. So within five, should be a good fight. Frontline reporters today. For the Union perspective, on the top right, you have La Hacker from the IVB. And then on the top left, for the CSA perspective, you have Cloud from the AV A and B. So very appreciative of both of those. Co-commentating with me today, uh, we have the Gamer. Would you like to introduce yourself? I'm the Gamer. I'm the First Texas Leader. I've been the uh, leader of the First Texas now for uh, close to about two years now. I have to go check. Uh, but I've been leading uh, the oldest regiment in this game for quite a long time almost two years now and we've been around for about eight years you might remember Saris who originally led I'm not him but he's you know he'll come back eventually I've been told he said when the game changes to beak off he'll come back <laughs> just to be yeah you just have him spectate and you can change all the saturation and stuff like yeah I'll change the saturation and make it look like beak off so the the Confederates are playing a pretty typical strat uh, they're coming up behind the, the beehives past the roulette lane uh, lake and they're going in the woods right now. It looks like they're going to shoot it out. On their, their strat sketch, they said they were going to immediately go up and try to take the uh, take the defilade. But I think they're just playing further back because I don't think they expected most of the Union to be on the snake rail. I think they expected more on the stone wall. But there's nobody on the stone wall. And then 5th New Hampshire and PA are guarding the flank on the straight rail. Yeah, very much so. I mean, what's Union's plan? Because you mentioned you had both sides strat, a strat sketch going into this. They have a three-part plan. Um, their plan, if they go up to the defilade, is to have uh, PA, and it looks like PA and 5th New Hampshire, is going to move up into the orchard and try to get shots on them. So you see that corner in the orchard, the uh, the corner that has the opening, yep. uh, the straight row opening? I think they're going to move into that area and try to shoot at them from the side and cut into them. If they ended up going like north side of the barn and trying to come in on the road side, they're going to obviously slam the fence slam the and slam the uh, stone wall. And then if they come around all the way around to the Union left, they're going to try to contest them far on the stone wall. So they've planned for every eventuality. Yep, and you can see them moving up right now to take those side shots yep. as they're moving into the defilade. And CSA is going like, up as well. Oh, it looks like, are they, are they just going? Okay, they're just going. They're charging. Oh, he's very cinematic as CSA collapses into the wall right now. CSA a little trickled in, but we're starting to get some ground. One Union flag down right now. Picked it up. I think Union should hold this as long as they collapse on it and wipe the CSA. It looks like they're holding it. Yeah, Union's coming up from the other side of the snake rail and just getting into them. CSA has lost two flags. They got two flags down. They got people picking them up, but losing out on those respawns for 15, 20 seconds is three to four people that they're missing out on. Yeah, it looks like Union has held it. Tickets-wise, they benefited as well from holding that. That's a decent gap. Nothing to bright home about, but a decent gap at that. Yeah, no, yeah Ninja's uh, really far up. They got them shooting into the side. That's kind it looks of surprising. Like it looks like CSA is just going all the way back. Was there, a, was there a Union guy in the woods? Yeah, Pyro's in the woods. <laughs> For my VP, look at doing? that. Pyro's in the woods. What are you doing? Dude, he's spying. Dude, Pyro's just spying on him. Oh my gosh, I mean, I've, I've never seen that before. He can probably listen to them, listen to all their plan. He's probably feeding information right into the uh, officer chat, if I were to guess. Yeah, I don't... I mean, Union's really going to kind of see everything... Maybe not know the specifics, but 
you can't really hide a CSA on this map in terms of trying to get to the point. Yeah, the best they can do is try to hide behind the barn, but there's two exits from that, that hiding place. So, not too much you can do. We're in a bush. Pyro's right next to the guy. Oh, he's turning, he's aiming. Oh, ow, ow. He stabs, gets a kill. I don't know if he hit that shot. I hear confusion. I hear, what the heck? There's a it's Rambo. Not, yeah. And he, he got got. So yeah, no, this is going well for Union. Yeah, absolutely. It looks like Star has moved 5th EA of two cores, moved some of his guys up to the stone wall just to trade volleys, but try to equalize out the tickets. Plus, have you heard a single Union Artie shot? No, I have not. Yeah, they got four they're, on Artie, including Doug. They're rolling Doug. up a gun right now. Uh, okay, they're rolling up guns. That's what they're doing. What's Doug doing on Artie? Hold on. Oh, I guess he's I guess he's just playing Artie just to have the off. No, he's not even the officer. I'm not sure what Fifth North Carolina is doing. Yeah, this is something. Looks like the PA Fifth New Hampshire guys. I think it's. Off. It's going to confuse us because you know our, our favorite strat and you know I, I have to tell Jigsaw to, to stop picking his nose when he when he you know when I'm bringing up this strat to him follow 5th VA that's a great strategy and it really sometimes works it looks like we've got two core coming around the north side of the barn just a small little group of guys only about six or seven uh, they move forward oh maybe they're moving back I like stars fit not, not for 5th VA yeah it's a good fit very good that hat looks great Oh, are they going That's one of the low? better hats. Yeah, they're just going. In, they're just feeding. T I'm not sure exactly what they're doing. Might be feeding tickets. Star got I see Trumpy's up here as well. Oh, oh no, the go. rest of the team's moving. Okay, so they moved a little early. Oh, which is uh, a little. Maybe it was trying to get the Union to waste all their shots. That's that seems like it, but there weren't a lot of Union guys down there, so we'll see how well it works out for them as that second charge is coming in. Union not really moving down from the top of the hill yet. It looks like CSA is going to have a much better time. Fifth uh, New Hampshire, PA collapsing. Yeah, they're really slamming that stone wall corner. Now Union's moving down into it. Okay. They're holding their side of the fence. On this map, it's, it's really important just to keep your guys on your side and don't let them come on your side of the fence. So they come on your side of the fence, they've got the ticket advantage, they can melee you, and you're not in a position where you can just kind of shoot it out up close, maybe go for a little cheeky stab, uh, and prevent them from crossing. Now I see people crossing over. Yeah, it looks like, looks like unfortunately for the CSA, they've, they've lost out on this one. But they got their flags out, uh, which is definitely good for them. Uh, it looks like both sides are about to hit engaged here soon. CSA moving 36. up the top of the hill. In the, that oh, they're moving up. 6LA is there. Were they even a part of the charge? I'm not even sure. I thought it for a moment it was going to be Star, but yeah, I Star is, uh, I don't know where Star is. <laughs> Union's recovering though either way so I think if, if there was a chance there I think they maybe had to push up the hill and try to play super aggressive but looks like it just uh, weird timing for both sides and CSA for the meantime is uh, reforming up behind the barn right now uh, getting the reloads before going back in again but I like what CSA is doing tickets are pretty even which is always good for the attackers so Outside of uh, yeah, no, you go. <laughs> I've noticed on these um, smaller server games, the clock matters a lot less compared to the amount of tickets. Yep. Yeah. Maybe that's just you know, you know, I, I'm not someone who's who's on the pubs for, for 24 hours. I'm only on the pubs for 12 hours. Um, but maybe, maybe that's just from my experience. But it just seems like with something like this, it's going to come down to morale rather than time. Yep. Yeah. I mean, the tickets go down so fast on a smaller size server that time doesn't really matter outside of when the attackers hit final push and that clock drops. Yeah, that's really the only time. It, it's interesting when they made that 20% decrease to the amount of tickets you lose and you die, it was flat and even. And I think just with the flag change and everything, it's 
somewhat affected smaller sizes compared to larger sizes in a different way. I wonder if we'll see like a small size map meta compared to a large size map meta. It's it's definitely a thing because, uh, like roulette, the match we're watching. If you have like a hundred man server, fifty v fifty, I mean union. Union's kind of doing the same thing, but they got to be a lot more conscious of what they're doing just because if they die, their tickets will just drop like crazy, so... I don't know. Yeah, and staying in battle ready for them is good. The more time you can spend with a ticket lead on your opponents, the better. Who is... But it looks like it looks like they're charging now. Look at Pyro from he USA. He's going north side of the barn. Pyro's by yeah, the Pyro's barn. way behind. What is he doing? <laughs> He's probably calling out that charge. Good shot from artillery. A good already hit. Knocks over a lot of people, kills a couple, knocking over a lot though is very important as Union starting to collapse down the hill right now. And Union responding to this a lot better than the previous time. Absolutely, 5th New Hampshire and PA are in the road just firing straight down the Confederate line. Oh my god, it's just, it's not looking too great. It's a little bit of a slaughter, but I've seen CSA pull it out with something like this. They do have... They have cleared the other side of the stone wall for most of the men that are there, but they're still getting side shots. So if a couple flags drop, it could be real bad for them. Yeah, and it looks like looks like flags are staying way in the back for CSA. I mean, that's really what. Do my eyes deceive me? Do you only see two CSA flags? Where are the other two? Oh, they're behind the barn. Interesting. Now, Interesting. I think CSA. I like that they brought some of those flags up because CSA is not winning these charges as is and one way to really start to bring everybody's tickets down is by having these long spread out charges because because of these flag respawns, charges last a lot longer than what they normally did which means there's a lot more people dying and especially towards the end of these very long spread out charges you get skirmishing it out of line like crazy so it looks like those two flags are pulling out looks like they're reforming a uh, couple people in the barn because of the way they set up the uh, where they're sitting the flag. <laughs> There's people spawning in the barn, going, "Where the heck am I?" <laughs> and then turning around, Star is still in the barn. He hasn't left it. He's on a barn-only War of Rights playthrough. Looks like, at least for this last minute, just poking his eyes through that window. What does he see? He sees three flags. That's what he sees. It looks like PA is keeping keeping the flag bearer on the south side, the Union side of the uh, stone wall, and then having their guys out in the open, rather than putting him like behind the barn or something. It looks like one of the AB guys though is snuck behind is in the house. Let's see if maybe he's trying to find that flag bearer. That's what my guess is. Yeah, good shot. Because oh. knocking down a flag like that before a charge can always be uh, pretty effective. He's, the flag bearer is pretty Oh, but there's a, fifth, there's a fifth New Hampshire guy coming in the house. Hold on. The flag bearers. Are they going to know about each other? Oh, he sees him. He shoots him. Oh, my gosh. What a kill. There was one guy in there. He got him. So CSA still reforming. You have some of them taking shots in the distance. Yeah, I think they're just going to try to shoot it out a little bit. They had to made a little bit of a ticket equalization when they were just shooting but of course when you're shooting your gun you're not you're not burning as many tickets as in a charge and you're burning time and they have time to play with but just how much is the question and and generally shootouts from a longer distance the tickets trade one to one just because from a longer distance they're hard shots I generally and consider for the, that everyone hits an equal here. amount of shots I think at these distances as well for the CSA, I think they're at a, a disadvantage because they're all armed with buck and ball. Whereas the Union, uh, 1st Delaware has Enfields and 14th Indiana has uh, 61s. So unless, I mean, unless things change from when they were in court, they said, hey, we're going full buck and ball. We're going to fight up close. We're going to get into them. And it looks like they, unfortunately, are loading round ball right now. Rather than buck and ball. So you don't think that buck and ball should be shot from longer distances? You can use it at long distances. I know there's something with the way that the 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 round ball works compared to buck and ball that maybe it's a little better. You can use either really. I sometimes just don't switch if I'm like you know just kind of playing the game on autopilot. 
Uh, but either way, when you're past 40 yards, unless you're hitting those two little balls, nothing or the three little balls, nothing changes uh, between the two. Right. I know I like to use fucking ball at any range, even if you have to aim up a little higher, just because I'm pretty sure each individual thing acts as its own bullet. And so you can still suppress people and have a chance of hitting people from a longer range. And you still got a lot of shots of it. We got a guy in our regiment, uh, Color Sergeant Allen, who is a uh, round ball aficionado. And Allen has told me, oh shit, they're going for a charge. I'll tell you after. Six George is going in alone. Like six, oh, they're going in alone, okay. I see. I see the other guys moving. It looks like, looks like a little bit of a CB moment. They're moving in 10 to 20 seconds late to the He's charge. From 58 to oh my artillery. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like that first charge is just almost wiped completely, and the second wave is coming in. But I mean, they're not going to have loads. But I don't know how good it'll work out for them. Yeah, it looks like already one officer down on that charge south, out in the uh, in the grass. They're really holding that fence out. Already they dropped a Union flag. It looks like nobody's picking it up. Oh, they got it. Yeah, both of them. And CSA has a foothold on the bottom side. PA, 5th New Hampshire, starting to get closer down the roadside. Yeah, it's all Confederate names down there. It looks like they've taken the corner mostly. Union and it looks down. like they've cleared out the PA, 5th New Hampshire guy. Oh, no, 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 they haven't. Never mind. PA, 5th New Hampshire is fighting them, but... Oh, here they come down the hill. Yeah, fall back, fall back. yeah, they're calling the fallback. All right, so you know they're they're down about half a morale stage right now, and really the question for CSA becomes, what do we do now? I don't think that what they're doing right now, I don't think the fourth time is the charm. <laughs> I have seen, I have seen some pretty crazy strats on this map playing pubs. I don't expect them to go for like an orchard full send, but I could easily see they pull back to spawn and then maybe fake cheat back, or I could easily see, you know, taking the long way, going through the corn and trying to come up on the side and get that stone wall and try to interdict between the spawn. Yeah. But we'll see what exactly their plan is. They're probably going to be talking about it, so I'm going to go listen to them. <laughs> Actually, they're probably an officer chat, yeah. so we're not in Maryland campaign. They're an officer chat right now. It's the one nice thing about no Steam chat events is you can go down and kind of see what's up. Who do you think they're pointing the finger at? Uh, for I think um, I think they're blaming um, I think they're blaming me honestly because I kind of <laughs> cursed them because they said they were bringing 35 to 40, and I said, well, I mean, didn't you see Caitlin Clark dropped 35? against the Dallas Wings. That's pretty classy. And they were like, that is pretty classy. And being the classiest regiment, two core, I think I think I might have cursed them. You may have. That was so unfortunate. There's going to be no bubble bath tonight for uh, the classy men of the two core. I do wonder if... I saw this once on Gar Garland Santa. I talked about it in the broadcast last night. But... I wonder if CSA should charge everybody down one side and then send the flags down the complete other side. And then as they're dying in that charge, they're all respawning on the other flank of the Union. I think on a map like this, it's just too close that is true. to do something like or that. Regardless. Like, I could, see, I could see something like that honestly done on another map. Specifically something like Bloody Lane. Yeah, just as expected. They're pulling back to the... Uh, looks like they're pulling one group back. It looks like First Corps is going back. We'll see if uh, we'll see if they move anybody else. Oh no, never mind. It looks like they're looking to to pincer the enemy, try to split things up, because uh, it looks like two core is moving up into the defilade, and it looks like A N V and first core is going back to their spawn. A move like this, I kind of do wish that you know second core maybe held off a little bit, because you got half your team fighting a shootout against the entire rest of the enemy team. And granted, they're going to know you're moving, but that's 30 seconds to a minute that you're not engaged in, into combat. Oh, it looks like they're full sending it through the orchard. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. We'll see what they're doing, we'll see what they're doing. I'll keep an eye on them, you can keep an eye on the yeah, fighting. They're, they're really going around the far side. But it's a good thing, though, that yeah. they're at least changing up their strategy. They're not insane. They are... Yeah, they're they're going off strat sketch right now. I'm gonna tell you, their only thing in the strat sketch was what they were doing before. <laughs> they're going off the grid. Yeah, it looks like 
It looks like ANV is just cutting through the orchard. Looks like they're gonna try to win a fight to the uh, corner, and Union isn't responding. Uh, I don't see any cannons turning either. That would be a good shot to hit on those guys in the orchard, but they're that's a tough shot. To hit. They got three oh, now they're turning down cannons. There okay. Right now. Yeah, I guarantee Ninja's raising the alarm in Steam Chat right now. They're coming, they're coming. First artillery Can't do his down. voice. Some see us actually going even closer to Union spawn. Six Georgia here. Goondog in front. And it looks like CSA is going to be contested by PA and the 5th New Hampshire. And I wonder if we'll see the CSA yeah, that's, charge. That's one regiment, and I mean, it's 14 guys, so it's generally a smaller regiment. Compared to, they're going up against 26 and 18 of what's coming in. So Union's going to have to move some guys over to support. Looks like some of the IVB guys are moving over. But um, this puts them in a little bit of a difficult position because they were winning that defilade shootout by moving guys out in the orchard, and now they can't do that. So we'll see how, how Union responds because they have tickets to, to think about a response, right. try to do something well. It looks like they're, yeah, it looks like the six Georgia guys are really far back there. I was going to say that you could move Union where six Georgia is, but they already have that position. It's interesting too because that a the straight fence that Diefendorf is on right now, the side that he's on, you can cap from there. I honestly didn't know that. Yeah, there's like you got to be like um, up against the fence, and it's only a little part of the fence between the snake fence and the cabin, but you can cap there. I don't know if you uh, if you saw it just recently. I fell down, you know, on on harp. Uh, they're going into a fight right now. I'll tell you the story in a moment. I still got to tell you about Buck and Ball, too. Hold on. <laughs> I'll, let, I'll let the action happen, and then the I'll suspense. tell you about Buck and Ball. I'll tell you about Alan. Color Sergeant Alan, our Honkai Star Rail fan. I wonder if the six Georgia guys, it looks like the rest of I Corps moved with them. I wonder if they might try to go up the hill and hit the Artie from behind. I could see that. That would be a good play. And I think that's a play they might go for. Uh, because then they'd have guys on three sides, and that would be excellent, excellent for them. That would even up the tickets, absolutely. But it looks like the longer that Icor sits there, the longer they're going to hit by our artillery, yep. and the longer they're going to say, we didn't have a flag, uh, we should pull back to spawn and regroup. Because I just see five dead people right now from an arty shot. And that never works out for you. <laughs> no, talking about buck and ball. So apparently... And round ball. Apparently, at like longer ranges, Alan thinks that round ball goes up further. So at like 200 yards, you kind of aim for the buckle, and it'll hit people. Hmm. This would be maybe a, a color sergeant Allen kind of question, but hasn't been. He's not hoisting the colors tonight. At least, at least I know I haven't seen anything thoroughly tested. Maybe that's a uh, outside of the MythBusters video, or maybe another yeah, that's... MythBusters video, but. That's one of those things you never really know, but you don't want to chance it. i is off that corner completely. Yeah, they're, it looks like they just got wiped out by bullets and by artillery. That fence is completely gone. I would, It would be interesting to see something like 5th New Hampshire, and I know uh, Hudson loves to do this kind of thing. 5th New Hampshire to kind of move around and take their former position, but it looks like for now they're not going to do that. Uh oh. <laughs> Ninja's yelling at Ruthless to uh, not go inside the uh, cabin here. So going inside the cabin is. Yeah. It's an ancestral calling. <laughs> you know, it's. His Union ancestors from New Hampshire probably went inside that cabin and once. Died. And now he's inside that Wait, cabin. Wait, no, he just got team now killed. He, did. he got team killed by an IVB guy, yeah. Billy Yank. I mean, I if I was in the uh, cabin, I wouldn't be expecting another Union Rambo to go up there. So. Yeah, I'm only seeing one flag on the uh, on the northwest side push by the house, so it looks like they just have the other fl I three flag two flags elsewhere. Maybe I didn't see the other flag. They have one flag like touching the cabin, and the other one's halfway between the cabin. And ah, the cabin. okay, there we go. I did, I couldn't see that one. So I was going to say, if they have the flag split up, they might be doing your strat, but 
they're in a full skirmish line out here in the defilade for two core. That ticket gap is almost a whole morale stage. How many people are on? Yeah. One seventy. This is surprising. Yeah, very small server, and it's even on numbers. The shootouts just right now haven't really worked out for CSA, unfortunately. Yeah, it's it's one of those rounds where it feels like you're playing Dunker Church as CSA, where you can spend six hours coming up with a new strat, you can write things up in strat sketch, you can figure out ranges for artillery, but it doesn't matter. CSA's charging leave. on the orchard side. CSA's charging on orchard side. But they've got two regiments there to meet him with a stone wall between them, so I don't know how well that's going to work out for him. And I got two pistols there as well on loading, and that charge pretty much halted out. CSA did not charge on the other side. They're still sitting and shooting. Yeah. Interesting. Like, I had expect. Okay, now I can see Maysk moving, but a couple others are moving because I had expected it. I was going to say it looks a little sparse over on the uh, fence side, on the straight fence side, but it uh, looks like they can just move back and contest that. I could easily see 5th North Carolina jumping this fence and going into the side of them. Oh, they're down on the, oh, yeah, yeah, they're not making it over the uh, over that straight fence, over the snake fence. I once uh, I once played a match on this map that we were up like a morale stage and a half, and uh, it was in an event. And I swear, I don't think they ever made it to the other side of the fence. It was a like bad round for the CSA. Which, usually, this is a map that. From what I remember, favors CSA, but I know the meta has changed with the flag change. Also, the higher pop servers, but that's not an excuse for tonight. Yeah, just a tough round. Yeah. Sometimes you try everything and it doesn't work. And you had a bad day. I don't know more words. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, but and the thing with the Antietam map set is, it's not like South Mountain or Harper's Ferry where you can do something a little crazy, a little different. Something like this, you know, you've been doing this for, you know, eight years you've been playing these kind of maps. Maybe not eight years, about seven, six to seven years you've been playing these maps. The strats are, they don't change all too often. That's the, that's why I love Contention and Conquest. Yeah, with Contention and Conquest, there's so much, you have to be an officer and and think about, hey, what am I going to do? Where's the enemy? Where are my, my friendlies? And some of that comes down to as well game sense, but I think maps like these are more game sense skewed rather than uh, oh, yeah. rather than instinct. Right. It's uh, yeah. skirmish is much more. Oh, no. Don't do that. Why is a uh, Union guys running up over the fence line on the right? But CSA is actually falling back on the right side. But skirmish is more of who stays with the meta. If you do that, you're more likely to win. Whoever makes more mistakes in terms of what is the meta. And sometimes they try out new metas. Like that that move up to the defilade, I think is like two or two or so years old. People started doing that. Yeah. I think it got stolen from Oh, Pyro is once again hiding out. He's in the barn now. It's like <laughs> where's Waldo, but it, yeah. where's Pyro? Get your bingo Dude, I V B dude, I V B somebody from I V B is gonna watch this. Like, Hacker is going to watch this, and he's going to be like, Pyro, you need to stop these out-of-line deaths. You're costing us tickets, and Pyro's going to keep doing it. I mean, we've seen and I want him once. to keep doing it. I've only seen him die once, but... But still, That's yeah, five tickets. That's like... It's like Sevy and Artillery, you know? That's five tickets to him. I was talking five to someone, and they wanted to see if Ramboing is ticket positive or not overall. And I think it's interesting, right? Because as a Rambo, if you kill one out of line for the other side, you're ticket even. And I was like, if that study showed anything but rambling causes your team to lose a lot of tickets, <laughs> uh, that would not be good for the games. Uh, yeah, it would not be good at all. Idea. It looks like they've moved uh, one of their regiments back to meet up back at that defilade. Or really, they're just sitting on the stone wall, but I'm assuming they're going to move into the defilade once yeah. they pick up their flag and get everybody there. I, I do think that maybe, and I mean, this is, you know, the time has passed because it's breaking to taking losses. But maybe maybe they, they sent it a little further to the uh, Union left. Might have had a chance for them, but never mm -hmm. really know. Union just lost their arty position. Did CSA charge up the top, or a couple of them maybe did? Six Georgia maybe a guy couple did. It looks like a couple guys did. I see one body, two body, three bodies. 
Sounds four like bodies. Sounds like Dr. Seuss writing a book. <laughs> Funny story. Um, he's German. So if you want to be a... Uh, if you want to be a real erm actually with people, call him Dr. Soyce. And then Soyce. use his uh, use his birth name, Theodore Geisel. I Very German know. name. I did not know that was his actual name. I, uh... I won a trivia thing because of that. I was uh, I was doing some uh, I was doing some like uh, student teaching, and there was a contest right where if uh, me the student teacher went up against the whole class with this like trivia book from the 70s or 80s of like questions you pulled them out, um, and I, I was the apparently the only student teacher who ever went six for six, and one of the questions I went six for six on is what is oh we got a charge going. That's an interesting question. Hey, well, what is Dr. Seuss's Dr. Seuss's real name? It's <laughs> Theodore Guy. Yeah, CSA looks like they're collapsing towards the center here. Yeah, I, I they're I think a little too spread out. I don't think it's going to really work for them, but I mean it could work. They're going to hit final push. Yeah, I, I think they're. I think the call in Steam Chat is just let's just lose this gracefully. It's like hey, we tried. We had a rough one, but. You know, we'll go final push. We'll see if we can maybe break them here. Because if they went final push before the charge, they no chance there. But maybe they break the corner here, and maybe they can get things set up. But they're keeping their flags out in the defilade, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Maybe they're going to try to move up. But it looks like the, the battery's ready to stop them, so I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Looking up there. They're respawning. Haven't moved up yet. One CSA flag that was from the right is moved up here, actually two, and the uh, George Custer trying to get the A and D flag out. I'm so happy they have those tiny flags. It's fun waving those. They, they wave so fast. Yeah, yeah I, I, I definitely enjoy how many flags this game has. Although sometimes, you know, you see a friendly flag and you, and you shoot it, because it's like, oh, I'm playing CSA, so we have a, a blue flag? Yeah. No. This make any sense? It's like it's like when you're at the Triangle Factory and you see a circle, you know. <laughs> I guess we're doing blue flags now, Virginia. <laughs> so CSA respawn the defilade, starting to shoot down. They're not charging up to take the top of the hill, which is open. Oh, there they go. Oh, they're moving now. They're moving now. God Hunter's calling it out, probably. I guarantee God Hunter is in the Twin Banners voice chat right now, going, "Guys, please come up the hill." And Zap's like, "Nothing we can't handle." <laughs> It looks like it's working out for the CSA, though. They've only got a minute on the clock, but if they have a good breakthrough here, they could try to sweep down and maybe hit that side. But CSA spawns we'll the main we'll running through the orchard. CSA flag on top, down, pick back up. Yeah, and it looks like there's just been a CSA flag out in the open here. I know that's a Union flag. Out in the open here, out in the field. I don't know, that is a, that is a, how does a CSA flag have an eagle on it and it's blue? <laughs> Somebody, that, Bradley's got to explain that thing to me, because I don't understand that. I'm going to ask him in the War of Rights Discord right now. <laughs> that is, uh, what flag is it? I think it's uh, 27th North Carolina. Fascinating. Yeah, that's very fascinating. I mean, does the middle, like, with the two women there, is that, like, a signifier for North Carolina, the South? Because I don't know if I ever I see know. that with northern flags. I don't know if it's a certain type of thing. I don't know if it's a certain type of thing. But I don't know. Interesting. That's a good question. Gamer, what are your thoughts for the round? That was a tough round, I gotta be honest, for the CSA, but rounds like that happen. Look, I was on the receiving end of a 0-2 last night. I can tell you, it happens. You can have a good plan going into it, and you can still end up just finding nothing. And I'm, I hope in Steam Chat right now, they're rallying the boys together, there's no argument. And with ANV, with second core, and with first core, I, I doubt they're arguing at all. They're probably just going focusing on the next round, saying, hey, this is what our strat is for the next round. But that's where their mind's got to be. Yeah, very much so. Rough round for CSA. I mean, they did exactly what they needed to do to win the game, but Union just played that pretty dang near perfect. So, well done on part of the Union. Off to, I think, Conquest. 
Uh, Yep, Conquest, Rocky Slopes. Yes, sir, Colquitt's defense. Let's get it. We'll see you for round number two. So, So round two. One thing. Yep. Do you need to do your intro? No. Oh, I didn't realize that. No, you're good. So, one thing, thing, uh, looking at the strat sketch, I think A and V might have confused which cannons they start at. Because CSA starts with the cannons by B, and it looks like Union starts with the cannons uh, that are by C. I think it's C. Or no, by A, sorry, by A. Ninja was right in court. It, it is A as the northernmost. But it looks like what they're going to try to do, at least what 5th NC and Molex are gonna, and White Bull are going to try to do, is just hit that B point as much as possible and keep the CSA from capping it for as long as they can. Ooh, artillery shot right on the point. So, yeah. Yeah, because it looks like they are not following their strat sketches. They're just going with the flow. So, uh, Conquest, if you don't know, if you're new to War of Rights and what it is, there's three points of contention on the field. You have the A point in the distance, which is closer to the CSA spawn. So they're capturing that. You have the B point. It's generally the middle point. And then you have the C point, which is closer to Union spawn. You have one Union group going there. But... Whoever has control of a majority of the flags will deal a ticket drain on your opponent. Now, if you're up 2-0, you have two flags, they have zero. You're dealing two flags worth of ticket drain on your opponent. And then you have all three. There's a counterattack phase. And then you're dealing three flags worth of damage. We'll see numbers in a second after this charge finishes out. Oh, great artillery shot. I don't know how the flag is still alive after that artillery shot to hit it. But. And now as well, uh, Doug, and this was known by everybody, so it's not like Doug just did it just for Doug, but he reduced the uh, ticket drain by six, to 60% of what it normally is. That way it doesn't drain super, super fast. It's a little bit of a slower drain. And it looks like CSA is looking to take these guns. 5th New Hampshire is here to try to protect them, but we'll see if see if 2nd Corps will. It looks like... oh. Fifth New Hampshire winning the fight. Uh, Lonely is about to get knocked down with that flag. That's a pretty decent loss, especially on conquest. If you don't have your flag, you're in a really bad state because you can't capture a point, and the distances are huge. And so, if you can't respawn, you're at a huge disadvantage in any gunfight. And it looks like Doug is going to run down to decap A. It looks like the plan is a little bit falling apart here for CSA because from what I'm from what I'm looking at on the strat sketch, they were going to take those guns, or at least spawn at those guns, have A and V in the road behind them, that uh, Stonewall Road, or have them up in the front road, and able to volley towards B and volley towards the upper road, and then have two core and first core in the woods and on that uh, snake rail uh, south of B, or west of B, sorry, west of B, down the hill, and try to shoot up, maybe try to cap it, and try to contest. Yeah. But it looks like that plan didn't come to fruition. No, it did well, not. I got a screenshot for you right here. Go to B. Look at all those dead bodies on the floor. Look at those casualties. That's got to be like crazy artillery yeah, casualties yeah, on Conquest. <laughs> Something like that, you know. CSA is trying to retake the B point as Union charged their artillery, but you got a lot of Union... Holding up the center here. A lot of union in those rocks. And those rocks can be tough to, to retake because you can really get up on top of them. It looks like union isn't doing that, but you can use rocks like that and uh, rocks on some of the other, especially on the South Mountain maps, just climb up on them and use them kind of like a wall. Yep. Ever since they added fall damage and changed the boundaries, it's been, it's been something. <laughs> yeah. And especially on some of the, like on the really big rocks, you can fall off and die. So that's something that you got to be careful about. It's a one-way trip on these rocks. It looks like uh, CSA has a uh, has a musician. I I think we know who to blame. <laughs> Whoever brought the musician. So true. And CSA win the B point. So Union's actually up by two flags right now. They have B and C. They're about to lose B. A point looks like there's about to be some fighting over that. But the CSA don't have a flag up there because it's down by Union artillery. So they're not going to be able to retake yeah, that. Yeah, two-core star is charging right into 5th New Hampshire. It looks like he's going to break through him just because he has a pistol and Hudson doesn't. Um, actually, no, Hudson's sneaking up on star. Oh, oh. star turned around. Oh, my God, what a shot. That was a crazy shot Star by Star. It looks like, 
it looks like he's going to have one of his men try to go grab that flag, but I could easily see God Hunter running down with his pistol and saying, I got a pistol too, <laughs> yep. trying to take that flag back. Union artillery getting that, but CSA is capping that B point now. Union has C, so, and all surprise too, despite Union really having the flag majority for most of the game, tickets are very even, uh, only a little in favor of Union right now. And that's the great thing about reducing the drain rate. And I was initially, I wasn't a big fan of it, but I think it has its positives because you don't lose half a morale state just because you didn't get to the point first. Right. And these these three Union flags that are dropped right now out towards B uh, are really going to be bad for the Union. And, I, and they might not know about one of those that's in the bush, but not having three flags is going to put you in a really bad position. It looks like their plan is, though, to counteract this, to is see. just sit up on that straight fence, sit up on the stone wall, and try to shoot from spawn. Try to wait things out, try to hold their C point, and try to keep things even. But we'll see how that works out for him. Yeah, CSA starting to move to C as well. A and V is going to go decap and raise their flag. Looking off in the distance, they did recover that flag. Star did, but they were going to be out of line, so they can't raise it. So if Star had one more guy, if 5th New Hampshire didn't kill one more guy, and you have a couple guys running to A, but I think CSA might cap all three points in a second. We'll see how C goes because Union's starting to move there. Mentioned we'd look at this. Uh, in terms of numbers, it's a four-man imbalance. Union has seven on artillery, Confederates having five. So uh, Union down about six infantry guys right now, which isn't that big of a deal. But uh, CSA might have all three points capped in a second. We'll see how A and V fares against who is moving towards the point. IVB and 1st Maryland. Exactly. First Maryland's bringing big, big numbers tonight from, from what I remember. We had upped the numbers in Cord. Actually, no, never mind. We're bringing 17. I thought we were going to bring bring big numbers, uh, but there were some folks who were going to play with us who I think pulled out uh, at the last minute. Twin banners hitting um, A&V. Yeah, they're hitting A&V. IVB, it looks like, is going to try to sneak around a little bit and uh, try to attack from an off angle, but they actually just came out of the corn right next to him. Uh, I mean, they're at a little bit of an off angle. Looks like they're going to get some shots off here. Yeah, CSA, unfortunately, A and V at least, has lost their officer there. Corn pop might go down soon here. The There's only four of them left. But they are going to get that flag up, which is really what they want. And the important thing to understand, and not a lot of people know this, it's not about if you get the flag down. You have to get the flag down and put your flag back up, which, is which could be embarrassing. Which could be embarrassing though, because there's three Union flags or two they Union have flags one down flag right there. Now. They've got one flag there. Okay, so they can get that flag yeah. back up. But but it would be embarrassing to lose because of that. That would be. They're moving a second flag over there right now. That's the that's the thing is even if Union takes this point back, which they are, uh, but three flag pulls worth of damage on you right now is a significant amount. Even if it's definitely going to put CSA in the lead on morale. And it looks like because of their holding of the midpoint here, uh, CSA has put a significant number of guys on Artie. Oh, no, never mind. Thought they did, but that's some infantry. There's a couple guys on Artie that are able to shoot, able to try to do some counter-battery fire, it looks like. Uh, that's about it, though. So C's neutralized. Remember, the counterattack's still going because you need to raise your flag as well. Six Georgia starting to move over as well. Uh, a and V does get their flag back and they're reforming on the tree, so they're going to still kind of keep pressure at C. And CSA dominating this. Oh, absolutely. Uh, this is definitely something where it looks like they, they had a little bit of time to, you know, grab a little bit of water, think about, hey, how are we going to win this next map? And that's what matters. Getting the 1-1 one, one rather than the 0-0. Zero, zero. Or the 0-2. Zero, <laughs> Getting the 0-0 zero, zero is not showing up. Getting a 0-0 zero, zero is honestly about not showing up. You can erase a win, you just have to be smart about it. You have to, what they, now what they have to do to erase the win is uh, pray that your internet goes out again. Uh, your ethernet yeah. goes down. I mean, if it does it enough times, I say screw it. It was unfortunate, I was recording the Ghost of Antietam event last Wednesday and it happened so much or I just didn't do it and ended up posting a pub match instead. But Union down one flag still. 
Uh, PA. Yeah, looks like when banners going up and over, maybe gonna charge A and V. Looks like some of Sussies still just shooting down towards B, trying to keep those guys honest in where they are. But the rest of Sussy though is coming down this hill, and the twin banners are coming into A and V and coming into these rocks, trying to take them out. I mean, if they wipe this, they get a flag. And that would be a big pickup for them, because then they can swing around, take those guns, have cover there, and get enfilading fire on B. And so a move like that and a win like that would be just what the Union needs. Get that flag. Looks like that flag bearer, though, is in trouble for the Union. Ooh, yeah, CSA flag down. Union it's a contested, that. contested melee here, but it looks like the Union has won it. Just a couple more guys to clean up, and then I'm assuming that IVB, and unfortunately it looks like the Twin Banners are almost completely wiped out here. A couple guys left from them, but they're going to respawn in. I would assume they would take those rocks to the northwest. You see that big rock cluster? Yeah. And get some good shots off, or even try to, because they might not know about them, go down the hill and try to come up directly from behind at an off angle go for a flank that probably is the best option just because trying to charge this point from the open field is a pain oh, no, and that's the that. closest spot to kind of push the point all looks like fifth new hampshire is back to a yeah is they're fighting it out today with uh second core fifth new hampshire uh eight guys versus uh probably about eight guys as well so same numbers here uh but it looks like they're trying to pull that flag down one Fifth VA guys here, though, the two core guys, they have a flag, and Fifth New Hampshire does not, so. Oh, Fifth VA has a flag, but yeah, Fifth New Hampshire doesn't. That's confusing. That's very confusing, yeah. those names. Yeah, yep. I'm going to tell Hudson to change Fifth it. New Hampshire, Fifth uh, North Carolina. I, Fifth I, Florida. I saw, I saw Fifth New York this week. There's a Fifth First Texas Regiment out there. Honestly, not even Fifth. It's probably like Ninth. You know, Gamer really jinxed that. Looks like. Gamer really... There might even be a tenth. Game... Dude, if there's... Oh, I did? Oh, God. You jinxed it. You jinxed it. You jinxed it. All right. I think we're back. All right. I'm going to cut back when this is uh, fixed. Okay. All right. So, we're are you back. back in? Yes, we're back. Hopefully, the Ethernet decides to work i'm going to be spending the nice next day figuring this out but gamer please uh, so i'll give you the recap because right now there is a big charge happening over at sea but basically the story for the last five or six minutes has been a contest over b i realized i never told you what the plan was for union at b they just have a big purple square over b with four words faith be your shield <laughs> that's their plan is just to let faith be their shield right now it looks like csa has CSA's taken c points and knocked down the flag it looks like they're gonna get all three points it was just probably about a minute ago there were no flags taken and both sides were even on tickets but it looks like the csa has come ahead and won some big gunfights and won some big melees swing the tickets in their advantage hudson once again bringing his guys up past the guns towards a uh, but they're back in counterattack. And it, the most feasible plan would either be take B or take C for the, uh, just because for the Union, you've got two flags sitting down on B, and you've got one flag sitting down on C. This has been around where a lot of flags have been dropped, but they're in a better position. I think, I don't think, I don't know if they're going to get it, but they're in a better position to take B, they're absolutely. Going oh, they're going to A? Okay. That makes sense. If you're trying not to lose, A is the point to take. Because there's only Star and about eight guys there with one flag. It takes like, looks like the whole rest of the CSA coming. How long does it take, though, to de decap and raise? It takes like 30, 40 seconds, right? I think right? it's 45 seconds. So they're, they're going to have to be quick. Uh, they're going to really have to be quick. I would have liked to see them cut over the open field rather than following the road, but... They're choosing what they're choosing, and I I have a feeling it's just because they want to avoid any kind of arty shots hitting them or a stray volley catching the flag bearer. Right. I wonder if the clock hits zero, which I think they're going to make. Oh, the 5th VA guys pulled off too, which is unfortunate. Yeah, they don't realize. It looks like nobody nobody sees where the movements happen. The 5th VA guys are probably moving back to try to defend B. 
because that's the most feasible target. But the union said, nah, we're going elsewhere. This is going to be a, a real time melter. It looks like they already have somebody pulling the flag down. Uh, Actually, no, they'll get, get it. They'll get it. Get they'll it. get it. Ooh, I would say if they didn't have somebody, a flag on it right now, it would be close. But they've got a flag on it. Or they've got a guy pulling it down and they're going to have a flag on it. So they'll make it. I wonder if the goal timer hits zero and someone's uh, raising a flag, if the game will let you finish that out or not. It, I think it puts it in overtime, but I'll be honest. I don't know if I've ever seen that. I think I've seen it happen one time, and it was a long time ago. PA and IVB have gone to pick up their flag, but they're not looking for a fight against A and V. They're probably 15 guys against 10 guys. It's not the same size. They want to pull back and save their flag, link up with teammates because they're all out alone, and then try to reform elsewhere. Yep. I want to buy a gun, but your gun control was too strict. Yep, two core is linking back up with first core and two core, and they're just holding B. Which is a winning strategy. Because if the Union takes A, all you do is you shut off one of those three that's taking you down. And they've lost about half a morale state just because of the three flags being up. And so it's put them in a pretty dangerous position now, being down an entire morale stage and not having an advantage in flags. The only way the Union can win right now is capping all three flags. That's yep. their best bet. They're not going to win on morale. Yeah. And they're not going to win on timer for obvious reasons. The odds they do that is pretty low as well. They can tie on timer. Yeah, I've only ever done it once before, where it's just been like a lucky, we capped three flags at the same time, and we held them when we were down a morale stage. Looks like Zapstar is leading the twin banners through the woods on a deep, deep flank near their spawn. They're not yet discovered, but they could be soon. Stay in the woods, stay in the shadows. He's talking <laughs> in his real quiet Zapstar face. Gentlemen, going around on this side. Stay He's really woods. talking low. Stay in the shadows. Stay in the woods. <laughs> Stay in these shadows, mate. Oh, but looks like First Corps is moving back to pick up A, but they're going to meet, uh, it looks like a decent line, about 15 guys from 5th North Carolina who are lined up on this fence ready to shoot back into him, and 5th New Hampshire ready to shoot back into him. So yeah, they're starting to have some engagement there. We'll probably see Union hit breaking any second now. Any second. Yeah, there's no action at C as well. So it looks like for the Union, and I remember in Cord they said, hey, C is our, C is our anchor. C is our easy point to take. We're going to take and hold C. <laughs> and it looks like, unfortunately, that hasn't really panned out just because of how the CSA has moved in this round. They've moved pretty much the exact opposite of what their plan was in Strat Sketch, funnily enough. ANV being on uh, the south side of the map rather than the north side, and then first core and two core just kind of in between, hanging around B. So CSA kind of pulling off more, 6LA really doing that, starting to shoot at, what was it, IVB up top? Actually, it's PA and first got well, rip. Ninja got knocked over by artillery Never and then mind. shot by somebody else. <laughs> so, CSA, it's taking losses. Twin Banner's really going around the far side. They're trying to hit maybe CSA already. It looks like Shrimp is making the call in chat, asking A and V to come to B and leave C. But A and V is not moving. They've moved a, Actually, they've moved a couple guys, but they've kept about half their force, which is the smart call to make. Union hits breaking. Union hits breaking. A whole morale stage ahead. Miracles can happen, but I don't know if they're going to happen today. The server gets nuked. But then it's a draw. Yeah. If there wasn't such an action-packed round, I could tell you that eagle fact. But only you get that eagle fact. That eagle at the Civil War. I mean, you can say it. We kind of got all, all twin banners hopping out of the woods. I, I mean, yeah, if you want to say I think now we got a lull. We do kind of have a little bit of a lull in the fighting here. So, fun fact, as you know, the eagle is the symbol of the Union, symbol of the United States. And early war, the Confederate symbol was the rattlesnake. Uh, if you know anything about Mother Nature, uh, the rattlesnake uh, doesn't fare too well in a fight against an eagle. It gets ripped up by the talons. And so there was a bunch of art made, a lot of uh, especially 
political cartoons, uh, and they'd put those on envelopes of eagles ripping up rattlesnakes, talking about how they're going to win the war, and we're going to rip the rattler to pieces, as I think the quote from one of them. And so that was kind of a Civil War symbol. So it's really, really interesting that there's a blue Confederate flag with an eagle on it. I think the ladies at the uh, female cemetery, seminary in North Carolina were a little confused <laughs> from that 27th North Carolina flag. And that was perfect timing because Twin Banner was about to hit the few A and V. Deep, deep flank for C. Deep. Yeah, deep, deep flank. And it looks like A and V is kind of caught with their pants down. Uh, Cloud is now moving his guys back, and it looks like they're going to take the corn. And they might take near that position where that dropped Union flag is. But it, I could see the Twin Banners taking C, moving their guys up the road, taking that flag, and then trying to put pressure on B. That's their only option. And just hope that all of Second Corps logs out for the night. <laughs> That's their best bet. And that would be the way they take B and win the round. So yeah, Cloud's taking his few guys that he does have. He's not going to win. I don't know if he realizes that he's outnumbered by a lot. Yeah, I see Ninja coming in and bringing the rest of PA as reinforcements. They're probably going to try to snag that flag as well. So now there's going to be a big force discrepancy on C. And Amy's going to lose his flag. I mean, if Union keeps up the ticket preservation, they might have a chance uh, at maybe forcing a breaking breaking. There's not enough time on the clock to force a tie. Oh, wow. Coin Toss is going to get out with this flag in the nick of time. PA collapsed right as he left. Yeah, very nice move by him. Uh, looks like one of the 10th Southern Cross guys was there, but he just got shot down by Mace in a really good shot. That's why he was leading last round. He's a good player. Hit that excellent shot there that probably saved his men the flag. Spacing, spacing. Because without it, that flag goes out of line and he dies. Oh, Ninja's coming in, though, with a pistol. Does he hit a, does he hit a crazy shot? Let's see. He hits it. He hits it. Let's go. Very nice. Knocking that flag down is very good for them. Oh, the A and V flag. I see what you mean. Yeah. You'll have to take my word for it then. I mean, I see. Yeah, it looks like flag. second core has sec all of second core, and that's a big unit has moved up near the big tree south of C. I'm surprised they're really trying to contest C. B's kind of left open right now. Uh, it looks like two cores backing off those trees. Yeah, there is a, a CSA group, First Corps, who's just kind of holding by the snake fence way off of B. Uh, and there's a couple First Corps guys who are up on it, but it looks like they're just trying to not take damage from the artillery, try to preserve tickets, and try to prevent any kind of ticket gains for the Union. Fifth New Hampshire, though, they're going to be charging them on these rocks, uh, and Fifth New Hampshire is probably just going to pull back try to reform with 5th North Carolina and try to brace that charge. Because it's, it's scattered. 1st Corps is now in, in three different groups. I keep saying 1st Corps instead of I Corps. That's going to really anger any I Corps <laughs> listeners. I'm going to keep doing it, actually. I should I should really keep doing that. Wouldn't it be 1 Corps? Because, like, 2 Corps? 1 Corps? Yeah, that's, that's a good point. It'd be 1 Corps. <laughs> I was thinking about I was thinking about calling 9th Corps 9 Corps. Or just XI core, just to be funny, but or IX core, just to be funny. But I never, uh, I never did it. I'm too busy telling them about being a landlord. <laughs> we got first core, second core, ninth core. It looks like second core has pulled back though to these. Some of second core has pulled back to these rocks. Ooh, artillery. Um, yeah, artillery working decently well. And as well, you've got men of the twin banners coming in trying to contest these rocks. I think it's a little bit of an overstep to have. Oh, uh, that's that's. I think all of Sussy, but I think it's a little bit of an overstep to have all of Sussy come in like this. I think they're going to get shot down on the field. They're too spread out, and there's I don't think they have the morale. Yeah, there's just not enough of them. You got CSA rotating back to A. Uh, do they have a flag? They've knocked down one CSA flag. Maybe it'll work. I see Jigsaw there out in the field. I will see this match on TikTok for sure. <laughs> a and V's at A point. They don't have a flag that's knocked down. You do have Union starting to run down from their spawn. First Delaware. Um, the battle's kind of yeah. turning, but is that uh, ticket lead? It looks like A and V is much? just going to maybe try to run out and decap this. It looks like they have run out and decapped yep. that flag. They don't have a flag, though. 
no flag though, but it'll prevent uh, it'll prevent the clock from striking. You've got three minutes to win or you lose. And with yeah, it looks like CSA is moving a flag over in that direction. They've just got those two other flags, the first core and the second core flag, just chilling out on that snake rail, just shooting things out. And the other flag's knocked down. Oh, but they're picking it back up. So One of the arty guys picking it back up, too. The Union's going to be up two flags are going to start catching up. Could this be a draw? Look at that arty shot coming in from CSA Artie right towards point. Let's see if they hit it. They got three. Let's see a couple guys got knocked down. Either way, though, the flag bearer lived, and that's what matters. Holy cow, someone got the, I think, A and B flag out from C. Very nice by them. Oh. Yeah, it was, um, it made it all the way to the guns, and then one of the artillerymen respawned, picked it up, and brought it back. Nice. So Union's up two points right now. Uh, a is still not capped by CSA. They do have a flag. It just arrived there, so. Yeah, they're in a position where CSA if there was B. more taken, CSA charge and B. Big charge coming in. Big, big charge. But they're getting shot down, and it looks like PA and Sussy are really in those rocks. And it's going to be hard to dislodge them. My flag, motherfucker. No reinforcements coming flag. in for either side, but PA does have a couple flag. guys off into the CSA guns just to get them some more t some more men into the fight. And it looks like, yeah, it, it looks like Union just held it. So they held B. This might be a heck of a comeback. This might be a heck of a comeback. I do think their, their only chance is taking all three, taking A. And it looks like they're moving a group over there to do their, just that. It looks like the Irish Volunteer Brigade, your old men <laughs> with Royal Ace among them, trying to beat back Star. Uh, they're beat they're back doing it. Board. They're doing it. They're doing it. They got a minute and a half, though, that they have to do it. And they have to hold it in addition to no those three No way minutes. unions win this game. No way. That would be, that would be the craziest comeback of That's all time. That's a blunder. I think we have to call it a blunder. I think blunder leads to massive casualties and casualties to get the uh, search engine optimization going. Yeah, CSA has already lost one flag on B. None of them are really in a position to contest C. As I say that, though, I see a... Yeah, it's a union group. Okay, PA is moving over there. PA is just going to sweep and hold C. That's probably their best bet. Yeah, if Union, I mean, there, there's a CSA group reforming no in spawn, um, but it's it's only First Corps, and First Corps does have 28 guys, but First Corps is moving towards B rather than moving towards A, so it looks like their plan is just consolidate and drive straight to B, and try to prevent a loss that way. They still have half a ticket lead. Okay, hey, Union's just got to hold this middle point for It looks like a, a big a charge half. coming in for Union. Big, big charge coming in at the Union at B. Sussy Two core has leading to hold away. this for a minute and a half, and they will win the game. First core pulling a CB, taking their time. I don't think they're going to hold for a minute and a half. I don't think they're going to hold for for all too long. Uh, you have the Irish Volunteer Brigade running down. They realize the situation. That's the full enemy team. PA, though, still holding back. Oh, now they're moving. Now they're moving. PA's moving as well. I don't know if they'll get there in time. No, they're not. Artillery's going to have to come up big. Artillery for missed the, short for Union. Yeah, they missed short. It looks like CSA has taken B. They're taking down that Union flag, and they're putting up stars and bars. And Union's going to hit last stand. Uh, just as Union hits last stand. Yeah. It's unfortunate, but honestly, that was for the CSA. That was the best play to make to win the game. It's just... Send everybody to B. Yep. There's not too much you can do about that, other than some arty heroics, maybe breaking up those charges. If, actually, if the arty keeps shooting on the point and somehow prevents them from raising the flag, for two I think minutes. when you're on it, you can't be knocked off by arty. I just saw arty stop shoot it and stop it. I think you can. You're gonna have to use shell for that, definitely. But I don't think shots. you can be knocked off. Yeah. You can be killed, but you can't be right, knocked off. Right, they were off, killed. That's what say. I mean by that. Yeah. IVB starting to take shots. I course charging in. Union's collapsing from the top of the hill. They got to kill the guy raising the flag. It's about to be raised to the top. 
Shot is hit from that oh. officer, but now they get it. Unfortunate. So close. Yeah, Honcho almost. He did there's a it. there's a really small sweet spot if you hit a shell on the uh, on the actual flagpole, because Case will only knock it down, but Case doesn't go through walls. Shell goes through walls, and so you can hit a shell to kill the person, but it's a really hard shot. Mm. So I have seen that happen. I think once or twice, but you can't be knocked off of it in particular. And the Union... The time to knock them down was uh, was when they were running up, and that would be the time where you can get some good kills off. Yeah. CSA is actually almost on the last stand as well. I mean, Union's still up a flag. Union, I think, needs to avoid as much combat as possible and let the flags do the flag. And yeah, it's going to come down to the 11th hour, and they've got to hold, they've got to pull, and they've got to say, hey... We're gonna turtle. Union's charging RD, we, or at least we're gonna PA have to is. turtle. Union hits the last stand. PA is getting a lot out of lines, but they're gonna pay for it. Big RD shots here could knock out a bunch of CSA people if they can get it to a last stand, last stand situation. It is winnable, but it's gonna be rough. PA is white. Yeah, Union is that start reforming? The men of the twin banners. It's on their last lives right now. Shooting down at the CSA would be. This is a heck of a comeback, nonetheless. CSA is starting to turn their attention towards IVB right now. At least the, a good chunk moving from B. You gotta... Yeah, it was, it was a little bit of a uh, CSA disaster when the camera was off. But when the camera was on, the CSA said, we got to act up. <laughs> we got to act correct. This happened I earlier did say... today, too. When my Ethernet crashed the union started popping off and I did say in the twin banners discord uh, to all our guys I said hey make me proud don't make us look bad because <laughs> the camera's gonna be on you I'm gonna be eye, the eye in the sky and they've done well when the camera's on Jigsaw said I'm last still stand. gonna say whatever I say and I said you can't looks like last stand for both sides yep. so flags don't really matter as much and they don't matter at all, I should say, unless Union somehow manages to cap B and hold it for three minutes, but CSA is never going to let that happen. So both sides have just got to hold out, try not to die. Every shot. This is when is every huge. shot counts, and this is when artillery comes up big. And this is also when cover becomes very important. Uh, those fence rails that they're holding on are not as protective as the rocks, and the rocks are better cover. CSA starting to put so. pressure on IVB. At least I Core is moving down the snake fence. Yeah, they are isolated somewhat, uh, and they're in a position where they've got men uh, really to their east and men to their west, and that's when you're getting pinched. That's not good. But not a huge number of guys coming in from spawn from CSA. So we'll see if IVB can hold it. Ooh, they're not going to be. Oh able no, they to. can't hold it. Never mind. I was looking at the wrong first core guys. First core did take it. I thought the first quarter was in the woods still. Oh, uh, well, there is some CSA in the woods. A lot of Union up top yeah. moving down. Yeah, Union already's got great shots right now. I really hope Union wins this. I, that would be an amazing comeback. It would be amazing. Union already absolutely can do it. They've got the ammo to hit those shots. Where'd that shot? Archer saying in chat, we were up on an entire morale stage. The fact it's this close is... A, B. Ooh, the gauntlet thrown down at Anderson's Brigade. <laughs> I'll have to go back and watch, and I'll have to see if A, B is to, is to, to blame here for this performance. Well, yeah, this, uh, this is crazy. A, B, I mean, I know it's A, B, but, and that's what, Archer's Brigade, right? Anderson's, Anderson's Brigade? Brigade. There's an Archer's Brigade, but yeah. not in this event. Playing as uh, Alexander's Brigade. Uh, but ABs, I think actually AR, Angel Reese right now, because they've made the, the Kings of Classy unhappy in the chat. <laughs> Couple Union flags down, but those don't matter all too much. What does matter is that A and V is moving towards C, and there's nobody there to contest them. So it looks like A and V. Going around the side, though, with 59th. Are they yeah, to get big, Bobby? big flank. I think they're just trying to get behind second core and try to get into them on that snake fence when they're not expecting it and pick up some big kills. We don't have the numbers of who's left. Nobody's typing it in chat. Is anybody typing it on the union side in chat? Not that I see. 
All I'm seeing is blame Molux. Yeah, Molux, uh, Molux should have spawned in a, a boat for us. Maybe a couple horses. Yeah. You need to win it. CSA might cap both points here. Uh, it looks like that's their plan. Just cap both points, prevent any kind of any kind of sitting around and letting the Artie do their work. Because Union's going to have to decap. Artie's and dead. Raise. Artie's dead. Six Georgia, first lieutenant. Uh, America first. Took out both Artie players. And but Molex is running back with God Hunter to take, to take their rightful position back. So Union doesn't have flags they, up, I don't think. Oh, God Molex. Hunter misses the shot. Molex down, yeah. but he hits the next shot. Uh, he can't load the cannon. He needed Molex to go in there to load the cannons. So, so all God Hunter has is his pistol. I think CSA is going to win. They're going to get this flag down at A, raise it up. Yeah, they get the same at C. That's the win for CSA. And Union doesn't have flags over here, so. Yeah, it looks like that's just going to be the win. Wow. Uh, big win for CSA after a very, very content, very tough, very tough first round and. Almost losing things out at the start, and then almost getting a comeback victory for the Union there. But they managed to close it out. It doesn't matter by how much you win. It just matters that you win. A win is a as win. Zoo would say. Oh, A and V didn't go to C. Oh, A and V didn't They're go to C. They're flanking really they far go. around through Union spawn right now. Trying it's to like they're just a. going on a deep flank. I mean, Who they, they don't have a flag? flag. They don't have a flag, so they could not have raised it anyways. It's like... Fifth North Carolina and First Delaware is who they look like they're trying to flank. But yeah, they're so, just skirmishing with Second Corps on these rocks. Second Corps definitely in a better position, and now with men coming in from behind, it looks like unfortunately for the men of the Haunts, uh, they're going to be pincered and probably destroyed. Now the AV didn't go for that C point. Union should really try to just survive this and force a draw. I could easily see that kind of thing happening because they don't have a flag in position. And if you keep a couple guys around, maybe take a couple flags down as you move it, you can force a draw. It's tough to do. It's going to be really boring. I don't know how much stalling I can do, but I'll try. <laughs> Second core is coming in to work with A and V, though, to keep up this pincer maneuver, and it looks like they're just going to manage to charge them out. And we'll see if the round ends when... Uh, this union group gets wiped over here because you still got a lot of union over there and you got to knock your opponents down to only a couple guys left before the game actually ends what happened to uh twin banners where they're they still go? in the woods behind a still in the woods behind a okay uh, maybe some i core guys are shooting up at them zapstar Okay, Zapstar, it looks like it's going to go for the back of first core i don't know if first core is going to expect that no they're not looking that way at all the men of the uh, of uh, Albert's brigade are not going to be expecting this. <laughs> How many uh, names are you going to come up with for this? I'll come up with a couple more. All right. I'll think of what I can. I would call them Alva's brigade, but that's you know, that's a little much. Oh, they're staying quiet. They're, not that they're playing this so well. They're staying quiet. Zap said oh, quiet in game. Oh, why? That was beautifully done. Beautiful, beautiful charge. It looks like the entire group is wiped. Yeah, a big, guys. big pickup for them. A, only a couple guys falling for Union. Oh, that was it, though. Those uh, couple CSA guys secured the, the field. Those couple guys was all it need, was needed. Anyways, a good... Cloud said, dude, just end this. Yeah, well, it no. did end. It did end. Very good job to CSA. Almost the most beautiful comeback I think I've ever seen in War of Rights. But besides that, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to support the channel more, we have our Patreon where we live stream. All the broadcasts we do, you can advertise our, your regiment in the bottom of our videos and get raw gameplay footage of everything we cover with no commentary and UI. But besides that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night, and we will see you in the next one. I think, uh, I think that might be a new record for the longest round on the Battleline Network channel. Yes, sir. Longest round of casualties.